Welcome back to another episode of Damn It Bennett, I Wish I Knew That. I'm Damn It Bennett. I think this is probably the most important video that we've had on the show to date when it comes to getting out there as a streamer and sharing your content. Today we're talking about clipbot.tv. In the past on this show, we've talked about places like Athenascope and Streamladder, which were both great places, rip Athenascope, but clipbot.tv brings something kind of totally new to the table. Essentially what Clipbot does is it takes clips from your Twitch channel and automatically turns them into YouTube shorts and TikToks, automatically. You could literally do nothing and they would post automatically dependent upon the amount of time that you set in between the clip being made and it getting posted. Now, one side note, uh, while I am a clipbot.tv partner and affiliate, this is no way a, a, you know, a, an ad or anything for Clipbot. I, I think this is an incredible program. I've said for a very long time, it's important when really smart people come into the streaming space because they're gonna develop things like this. So if you wanna know more, let's jump on in. Let's talk about clipbot.tv. On this site, you're gonna see all of the information and you'll see a ton of reviews from other streamers as well as the features that come with the bot. There is a free version of Clipbot. I, I'm telling you right now, you should definitely 100% sign up for it. If you have less than 2000 followers on Twitch, it is free to use. It includes the push button clipping, automatic YouTube shorts, automatic TikTok uploads, GG, easy, vertical videos, crop once and crop forever, manual mode, best clip filtering, custom crops as well. It does include a clipbot.tv watermark in the clips. It does require that you do include the hashtag clipbot.tv with the free mode, which is not a bad price to pay. I mean, free. If you pay per year, it's $9 per month, which is $108. Or if you switch to a monthly, it's $15 a month. But in this tier, it is pretty incredible because it's everything from the free tier. There is no limit on, on your followers. There's no watermark in the video. And then there is uh, no required hashtags. So let's download this bad boy and get started. All right, once you are in and you've downloaded Clipbot, you're gonna need to log in to all of your accounts. So you'll click on the login button. Once you've completed all your logins, we'll go ahead and check out the settings section here. So in the settings tab, you'll see some drop down menus, but first you can set up Clip Hotkey. Mine's currently Shift plus F12, but I actually really don't even use this too often. I either use my stream deck uh, to put a clip or a pin together, or after the stream, I'll go back in uh, and kind of fast forward through, find the clippable moments, clip those out, rename those clips, and then let Clipbot do the rest of the work. Uh, but with that being said, we can take a look at the clip default section. You'll wanna go in here and if you're looking for anything specific with uh, YouTube and your hashtags that you're posting or tags, you wanna obviously include all of the things that you normally post or more specific to the games that you play. You wanna make sure the video visibility is on public. You also wanna kinda maybe work on your descriptions for your videos. Next uh, setting will be our upload settings. And I do things a little differently here because I'm actually going in and looking at the clips that are on my channel. So I have this just set to one view because I want it to populate everything into Clipbot and then I'll approve and deny based upon that. Mine currently posted about 9 p.m. You can also change this by maybe changing this to one hour. Let's say it's it's 1 p.m. and you want to post at two. You move this to one hour. Once it posts, then you move to 24 hours and then every day it posts at 2 p.m. Now there's going to be three buttons here for you to choose default approve. This is going to upload any clip unless it's been rejected. This will automatically upload it to TikTok, which you'll want on. The YouTube uploads you also obviously want on as well. And then under advanced settings, clip age. It is really important that you do 24 hours here because if you are an affiliate or a partner on Twitch, you do have a clause in your contract that has exclusivity for Twitch for 24 hours for your content. So to be safe, keep this at 24 hours. And then most importantly, you want the algorithm to give you some love. So YouTube auto game category, you do wanna have this turned on. Now it's gonna put the game that you're playing in the title, but it will help that force it into that algorithm for that game and hopefully get you some more so once you save those settings, you'll be able to come back to the main section of the app and we're gonna tackle auto crop now. So if you change your camera around, this is something that you'll have to be paying attention to as your clips go live. I've only had one accident where it went and posted a clip with not my camera in it after I moved it from the right side to the left side. Make sure you pay attention to this. Auto crop here is kind of the overall crop position for every video moving forward. So if we go here, we go in, we already have it on, uh, but we can change it. 
Uh, we can change the layout that we want. We're, we usually do the cam on the top and then the video below. So you hit okay. We already have our selected, but as you can see, you can just reframe this. Once you feel like you're in the right zone, you can move to the next one. Uh, and then you can position this in the center of your screen. Um, and once you feel good about that, you hit done. And now this is how it's always going to choose your auto crop uh, moving forward. So if we go into the clips button here, this is gonna pull all of your clips. Now this is showing 174 clips that I have on my channel. And basically it's already set up for the auto crop, but you can see you can set a custom auto crop for this one. So let's say that for whatever reason, I didn't want this video to be the normal one and I wanted to change it to something else. I could go in here, I could choose any of these. It won't change the auto crop moving forward. You'll also notice that there's an approve button and a reject button. Basically this will auto approve by default because that's what I set. But if for some reason I don't want this clip to come through or this is some clip that a random viewer had clipped by accident or on purpose or whatever, but I don't wanna upload it, you just hit that reject button and you move on. Now we're on our next clip and you can kind of just keep going through these clips. You can also listen to those clips. In these instances, you wanna approve these clips. You can also put a custom title in here. If maybe the clip title on Twitch is different and you want to do something different for YouTube, you can also add more hashtags and tags and descriptions, uh, but it will use the normal settings that you've set up from the other menu as well. Obviously you can keep going through these clips and find uh, all that you want. Previous clips that you have had before are gonna be back over here. Basically these for the time being are here. Maybe they'll go away in the future in, in different iterations of the build. All of these are clips that have already posted to all of the different different social medias for my channel. You know, some of them are approved by default. So like this one specifically is rejected. I don't think there was anything special about this clip. I don't know why I got clipped, but uh, but it, it showed up in the feed. So I rejected it. So it never posted. This gets into some very specific details, but it's a great approve and reject uh, method. That's it. Now, the only other th side of things that you do have to do is you do need to go into TikTok. All right, so once you go into TikTok, you're gonna go on your phone, you're gonna log into your channel, and in your inbox, once it has uploaded to YouTube, you're gonna go into your inbox, and we're gonna look for this one that says, TikTok platform, your video from ClipBot is ready, and now you can see all of the ones from ClipBot, and basically what you'll do is you'll click on, uh, go ahead and edit that video. Here's the video, hit the next button, unless we wanted to put a filter on it, we wanna do something else. We can now edit and put whatever title that you want here. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can select your cover, just like you normally post a TikTok. Uh, you do have to do this method of it. It doesn't automatically post it. And that's not because of the app, that's because of TikTok in the limitations that they set. But it's a pretty simple process. Once your video goes live on YouTube Shorts, you know to post it on here. And then what I do is then I just go and I save a video and I go and post it on Instagram as well, just to post it somewhere else um, after it goes up on TikTok. If you like this video uh, and you'd like to see another video on more of the detailed stats uh, uh, after starting to use ClipBot, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to put that up. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to check out the link. Help me out. Use the affiliate link. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, help with the algorithm. And um, don't forget, I'm also live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday over on Twitch.tv slash Dammit Bennett. We'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.